Welcome to my first class on chapter number 3 Pair of linear equations in two variables. In this class, I am going to give an introduction to this chapter and exercise 3.1. Consider a statement 5 is added to a number. How will you express this statement mathematically? You don't know the number. Let me take the number as y. Then how can you express this? This you can write as 5 is added to y. That is y plus 5. This we can call it as an algebraic expression. And the variable used here is y. Now let me complete this sentence. 5 is added to a number gives 7. So, this you can write as y plus 5 is equal to 7. Now, this expression we can call it as an equation because this expression contains an equals. So, it is an equation. How many variables we use here? Yes, here only one variable. So, this is an equation in one variable. Now, what is the degree of this equation? Here, the highest power of the variable is 1. So, if 1 is its degree, we can call this as linear equation. So, y plus 5 is equal to 7 is a linear equation in one variable. Now, what is the value of y here? Can you say? That means, if you add 5 to y, you get 7. So here, y obviously it is equal to 2 because 2 plus 5 is equal to 7. The value of y which this equation satisfies, we can call it as solution of the equation. Here, y is equal to 2 is the solution of the equation. Now, let me consider another state. Sum of two numbers is 10. You don't know two numbers. Let me take two numbers as x and y. Now, how do you express this? Sum of two numbers is 10. Yes, that you can write it as x plus y is equal to 10. Here, in x plus y, how many variables we use? Yes, here we use two variables. Two variables. And what is the degree of this equation? Yes, of course it is 1. So, we can call it as, this equation is linear equation in to v. So, degree of the equation should be 1. There should be two variables. Then we can call this equation as linear equation in 2 v. Now, how can you write this in a standard form? The standard form of a linear equation we can write it as ax plus by plus c is equal to 0. The last equation we took it as x plus y is equal to 10. This you can write it as x plus y take 10 this side minus 10 is equal to 0. Here in this equation a you can take it as 1, b you can take it as 1, 1 into y, c you can take it as negative 10. Now, what are the values of x and y in x plus y is equal to 10? Here we can say if x is equal to 3, y will be 7. If x is equal to 3, y will be 7. Because x plus y is equal to 10. 7, 3 plus 7 is equal to 10. Now if we take x is equal to 5, what is the value of y? y is also 5. 5 plus y is equal to 10. 
here x is equal to 3 y is equal to 7 is one of the solution x is equal to 5 y is equal to 5 is another solution let me draw the graph of x plus y is equal to 10 let me mark x is equal to 3 y is equal to 7 here x is equal to 3 y is equal to 7 will be this mark point and x is equal to 5 y is equal to 5 this this will be the point. Joining these points, you will get the graph of x plus y is equal to 10. Here is the graph of x plus y is equal to 10. That means it is a straight. So, the graph of a linear equation to be will be a straight. Now, look at the number of solutions. Here you can see x is equal to 3, y is equal to 7 is one of the solution because 3 plus 7 is equal to 10. Here 5, 5 is another solution. Now what about this point? Is this a solution? Here it is x is equal to 6, y is equal to 4. Now what about this point? That is x is equal to 7, y is equal to 3. That goes to a solution. What about this this point? This is x is equal to 8, y is equal to 2. That means any point on this line will give you the solution of that equation. For a linear equation in two variables, infinitely many solutions you can find out. Now let me take another situation. You are going with your friend in a shop and purchasing uh, three pens and two pencils and it costs rupees 20. How will you represent this one? Yes, let me take pen. Cost of one pen is equal to x and cost of one pencil is equal to y. Then how will you three pens means this three inverse that is three x plus two pencils. Yes, it is two y equal to rupees to you. So three x plus two y is equal to twenty one is the equation for the Statement 3 pence and 2 pence equals 21. Whereas, if you purchase 2 pence and 3 pences, it costs rupees 90. How do you write it? Yes, you can write as 2x plus 3y is equal to 9. That means here you can get one more equation that is 2x plus 3y is equal to 90. The two equations are 3x plus 2y is equal to 21 and 2x plus 3y is equal to 9. This equations we can call it as a pair of linear equations in two variables. Pair of linear equations in two variables. For a linear equations in two variables, in standard form you can write this ax plus by plus c is equal to zero where a and b not equal to zero. So for a pair of linear equations, how do you write? Here, in this equation, we can take a as 3. In, the, in this equation, we can take a as 2. So, for convenience, the first one, you can take the coefficient as a1. And the second one, you can take the coefficient as a2. Similarly, for first equation, you can take it as b1. And second equation, you can take it as b2. And for first C1 and second, you can take it as C. 
So first equation you can write it as a1x plus b1y plus c1 is equal to 0. What will be the standard form of the second equation? Yes, that you can represent as a2x plus b2y plus c2 is equal to 0. So, in general, you can write the general form for a pair of linear equations in two variables x and y is a1x plus b1y plus c1 is equal to 0 and a2x plus b2y plus c2 is equal to 0. Where a1, b1, c1, a2, b2, c2 are all real numbers and a1 square plus b1 square not equal to 0 a2 square plus b2 square not equal to 0. Here, a1 square plus b1 square not equal to 0 means a1 and b1 never be equal to 0. a1 square plus b1 square equal to 0 only when a1 and b1 are equal to 0. Here, a1 square plus b1 square not equal to 0 means a1 and b1 are never be equal to 0. So, now let me consider the graph of those pair of equations. Here the equations are 3x plus 2y is equal to 1, 2x plus 3y is equal to 9. Consider the equation 3x plus 2y is equal to 9. Here the equation is 3x plus 2y is equal to 9. plus 2y is equal to 21. How will you draw the graph of this equation? That means you have to find out the value of x and y and plot the points in the graph. Suppose x is equal to 3, what is the value of y? That means 3 into 3 plus 2y is equal to 21. That is 9 plus 2y is equal to 21. 2y is equal to 21 minus 9 or which is equal to 12. Here y will get 12 by 2 which is equal to 6. x is equal to 3, y of y is equal to 6. Now let me take x is equal to 5. What do you get? When x is equal to 5, 3 into 5 plus 2y is equal to 21. That is 50 plus 2y is equal to 21. 2y is equal to 21 minus 15 which is equal to 6 y is equal to 6 by 2 which is equal to 3. Therefore, for the equation 3x plus 2y is equal to 21, the value of x and y are when x is equal to 3, y is equal to 6, when x is equal to 5, y is equal to 3. Now let me consider the other equation. 2x plus 3y is equal to 9. x is equal to 2. The equation 2 into 2, 4 plus 3y is equal to 90. That is 3y is equal to 19 minus 4 is equal to 15. Or y is equal to 15 by 3 you get 5. Now when x is equal to 5. What do you get? That is 2 into 5, 10 plus 3y is equal to 90. 3y is equal to 90 minus 10, which is 9. Y you will get it as 9 by 3 is equal to 3. When x is equal to 2, y is equal to 5. And when x is equal to 5, y is equal to 3. Now, plot this point in a graph. Now, for 3x plus 2y is equal to 21, x is equal to 3 and y is equal to 6. So, here will be the point. And x is equal to 5, y is equal to 3. Where it will be? Yes, here. Now, joining these two points, you will get the graph of 3x plus 2y is equal to 21. Let me join it. Here, 
is the graph of 3s plus 2y is equal to 20. Now, let me take the equation 2x plus 3y is equal to 90. x is equal to 2, y is equal to 5. Yes. This should be the point. Now, x is equal to 5. Okay. y is equal to 3. The same point. Now, let me join these two points. Here, here you will get the graph of 2x plus 3y is equal to 90. So, in this way, you can represent the graph of a pair of linear equations in two ways. Here we are getting a graph which is in the set. Now, let me take some examples of the graph of pair of linear equations. Now, let me take the graph of 2x plus 3y is equal to 5. Yes, this is a straight line. And another graph, 4x plus 6y is equal to 60. Here you can see the graph which is not intersecting. That, that means the graph of a pair of linear equations in two variables can have a parallel line also. Let me take another pair of linear equations x plus 2y is equal to 3. This is the graph of x plus 2y is equal to 3. Let me take one more equation 2x plus 4y is equal to 6. That means C, the graph of both equations are quite same. That means one line upon the other line. So this type of lines we can call as coincident lines. So we can convert the graph of a pair of linear equations in two variables will have an intersecting line, parallel lines, or a coincident lines. Here is your exercise 3.1. You have three questions. You have to form an equation with the given condition and you have to represent it in graphically. That means you have to draw the graph of the equations. Here are your answers. Do very things. That is solve for today's class. Have a nice day.